Dimalang guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Renee Lestaka, also go by the name Rini. Now, if you're interested in home interior, home designing, home decorating without breaking the bank, then you are interested in creative home living. This channel is for you. So now, with that being said, we all have vases in our homes, uh, probably handed down to us by family members or we probably bought them at a low price. But however, they do not fit our style and our liking. So now, this video, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be upcycling vases. In my case, I had no vase to upcycle. So I fall under the category of you go to the store, you find expensive vases. They're too expensive, but they do inspire you to have something like that in your house. So I went to the most affordable store, which is Pep Home, grabbed a couple of vases and decided I'm going to upcycle them. So you may not have vases, but you can go to stores like Pep Home where things are very affordable and you can paint them and turn it into something that you like and to the color palette of your choice. So with that being said, I'm going to be using some spray paint in this DIY. I'm going to be using some acrylic paint and some bicarbonate of soda. So y'all know the combo if I put bicarbonate of soda and acrylic paint. I am going for that textured ceramic look. So if you're interested in this video or what I've said and listed that's going to be happening in this video, stay tuned. And with that being said, let me not waste any time. And let us get into this DIY. Starting off our first DIY, I'm rolling out this clay with obviously some leftover clay that I've had from my other DIYs, hence why it's all patchy. And then, I'm sorry for this guys, you'll hardly see it, you'll just see the bottom part of the clay because I didn't angle my camera correctly. These things happen apparently. So after rolling up my clay, I cut it into bits and pieces and I started wrapping it around my face. As you can see right at the bottom, if you can even see that, wow, amateur hour, definitely upsetting <laughs> but anyways just wrap the entire uh, vase with clay obviously I was trying to create that thickness and that texture and as soon as I let it dry overnight I went in with the sandpaper obviously it's a 220 grit sandpaper to try and soften and even out this vase without having patches and all that kind of stuff but however that didn't really work much to my advantage but I thought it added some bit of character to the vase so with that being said I went outside and I grabbed my black spray paint, spray paint and I started spraying it down with some spray paint afterwards I realized I really don't like this color so I went in with some paint because it just looked weird and I went in with some white paint obviously textured white paint using bicarbonate of soda to actually cover this face up honestly between this face and the one you're about to see there's not much of a difference when you look at them it takes you being in close proximity to the vase for you to notice that there are certain details to the one and different details to the other one so I just gave this vase two coats of paint and we were basically good to go I love using this technique because you don't have to wait long for the paint to dry it is so quick to drying it's unbelievable and this is what the vase looked like after Coming into our second vase. So here I'm just showing you guys how to mix this. You basically add paint and then you add bicarbonate of soda to your liking. The texture and consistency of this paint is all depending on what you are looking for. It covers more when you add more of the bicarbonate of soda and it covers less when you add less of the bicarbonate of soda. And obviously if you want more texture, add more bicarbonate of soda to your liking or to the way you prefer it. And then as soon as you reach the consistency that you like and you prefer, go right ahead and start painting and get artsy and crafty. So as soon as I headed to my consistency, I started painting this face. Obviously you can see with this one, it's the way I bought it. And try and have some plastic to protect your surfaces because I figured this in the in a while that I actually need plastic. So using the bubble wrap that the vase came in, I started painting it all over. This vase also needed two coats in order to cover it completely. 
and honestly my thick paint my paint was so thick that it ended up cov uh, covering up all the nooks and crannies on this vase all the crevices were just covered up it just looked like a flat layout so this works well if you're trying to cover that up and this is what it looked after Jumping into vase number three, not like those two vases didn't look alike. I'm using this uh, beige uh, spray paint, including the stone texture spray, textured spray paint. Oh, that's a bit of a tongue twister. <laughs> I'm spraying down this, uh, obviously from a distance, because if you get too close, it'll cause some drip uh, on your vase. You don't want that when you're DIYing something. You need to be as far as possible. And then after the, I had covered it up, I went in with the stone textured spray paint. Honestly, guys, I am in love with the stone textured spray paint. Although it is expensive, this is all we did for our vase and we let it dry. And this is what it looked like when we were done. Our DIY for this Sunday. I honestly love them all, but I'm just gonna start by um, saying a few things about these vases. When it comes to the first one, honestly, I didn't like the patterns on two of the vases, so I wanted to cover up the, the pattern by adding some clay to it, and then the color choice wasn't my favorite. It looked interesting, but it wasn't beautiful. So going over it with that paint covered uh, the uneven texture. So if you want to go with that DIY and you don't like um, your clay looking patchy, I definitely do suggest that you go with the heck of using that paint because it does give a smooth finish at the end. You don't have to smoothen it out. However, I did like the texture that it had before. I just didn't like the color, but I ended up losing um, the texture to gain a ceramic texture, which I also like as well. Coming to the second vase, I didn't like the patterns. The paint covered everything regarding the patterns. So it depends on the ratio of your paint. If you make it too thick, it covers a lot and gives you a different ceramic texture. Um, so it covers the patterns and the details on your vase. So if you don't want to cover that, I would suggest that you add a little bit of bicarbonate of soda and not too much to your paint. And then coming up to the last one, I use spray paint for this one. So in case you do have those things um, in your craft box or you do have it already, you can go right ahead and try that out and test it out. Or if you just want something quick, I definitely suggest the spray paint, although it does require drying periods in between, um, as well as painting it yourself. But if I feel the spray painting is less messy than painting uh, the vases yourself, you can go right ahead and choose whichever method or technique you prefer. Out of all three vases, honestly, the last vase, uh, the spray paint one, was my favorite. It came out the best, in my opinion. I don't know which one was your favorite. Go right ahead and comment down below which vase out of the three was your favorite. And if you do try this out, please don't forget to tag me on my socials, which I have linked down below. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. And that is our Sunday video or Monday or Tuesday. Whichever day you choose to watch this video is the day's video, I guess. So with that being said, be kind, love and light.